Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So in our previous video, we had our first race of the season and here you can see the results of where our drivers ended up in eighth and 10th. And from a team perspective, we ended up in sixth. Now that didn't do any uh, help for my happiness level for the chairman. Uh, job is still secure, but um, we are gonna have to really get some good results in a hurry in order to keep from uh, our chairman happiness trending toward disappointment. And then of course that will put us on the hot seat and the risk of being fired. So we're attempting to, our goal is to finish second in the team standings by the end of the year. Uh, personally, I think our first race was a success simply because of the reliability issues that you face early in the season. Uh, there's a lot of chaos that take place in the first two or three races of the season because of the reliability issues. You get cars that are you know, having uh, failures during the race because they push too hard and all kinds of stuff uh, happens toward the end of a race, uh, wrecks and, and different things like that, which uh, change your, your finishing position more than what you uh, actually thought you were gonna get based on speed. Let's go ahead and run through a couple of emails here. Car condition, yeah, we know we're you know, definitely hurting the cars early in the season uh, more than we, can probably get by with, but we're pushing them as hard as we can. Um, you know, we know we're going to have to do some repairs during the race, so we're pushing them as hard as we can um, and still trying to not break them on the track. So we know in the HQ here, we've got 10 more weeks for our test track. Okay, and that's really going to help us out on building engines. And for our car, we've got about three days here in game time uh, for our new engine to be done. Now, this isn't anything to get terribly excited about because the first part you develop each season uh, of each, uh, so the first engine you develop, the first gearbox and so on, are not really all that great, not really all that much improved over your base parts. Uh, it's really the second and then the third that you develop that really give you an opportunity to, to do something special and really enhance your performance. So this will be a step in the right direction. Basically, we're using this one to unlock uh, future parts and future development. Okay, with that in mind, let's see, we've got an extra email that I must have missed somewhere. Okay, looks like that took care of it. Let's go ahead and move forward. Looks like here we've got our repairs about to be completed and the same thing with our new engine. Okay, so with the car repairs done, uh, let's go ahead and auto fill that. It's not going to change anything uh, realistically very much because you can see we're, except for uh, this brake package, we're pretty much at the top of everything, or at least to the point where further improvements aren't going to make a whole lot of difference on track. All right, so we're at 61, 56, 59, and 57, uh, which is good, but I also want to make sure I get my gearbox on here. So for now, I'm going to remove the two brake components. Okay, because, and the reason is, it takes longer, I believe, to repair the gearbox or an engine than it does the brakes, and I can, uh, it seems like I make more time on track if I push the engine harder uh, to make more speed and more acceleration than I do whenever I push the car as far as the cornering ability and use the brakes more. So we're going to use that uh, here and go ahead and try to work. we got 23 days before our next GP. And I'm going to try to get the gearbox as, as high as I possibly can. Now, I also know that here in just a moment, I'm going to need to come in and adjust this because uh, one of these engines is going to be gone. Uh, and it's going to be this one, which is at 57. So we'll go ahead and remove that because we're going to start working on our new engine, which is basically done at this point in the game. Let's go ahead and there we go. So we got our email in here to trigger that. It says we got our new engine. It's at 170. Let's go ahead and fit the new part and the new engine. Okay, so then this moves Sergio from 148 to 170 and it moves Raphael from 142 to 148. So we'll continue to work on that, of course, as things go on. But now what I need to do is find our new engine and add it in right here. Of course, also at the same time, we can remove this old engine from performance upgrades and go ahead and add our new one in there. Again, might as well max it out uh, since we're gonna be working on this stuff anyway, 
but most importantly, we get the reliability aspect going on. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I've I've been a little lax on scouting new drivers. You know, for a while there, I was keeping our cube really maxed out with with scouting new drivers, but for a little while here, I've backed off of that. And because we're going to have both drivers coming up in about nine months for new contracts, I have no idea how that's going to go and if I'm going to be able to sign either one of them or both of them. So what I'm going to do is start attempting to find a new reserve driver. Now, luckily, we don't have that much cost involved with uh, going ahead and getting rid of him. This was a test. I simply wanted to see what would happen if I hired a pay driver, how much money we could get. And essentially, it's not been worth it, uh, but it could be worth it if I found a pay driver that had a high feedback skill uh, because that would enable me to use them at the very least in practice uh, and get some extra money that way. So I'm going to go ahead and look for some additional drivers. And again, the hope is I can find a younger driver. Uh, ability isn't so much of an issue. Obviously, you want the best ability you can get, but I would love to find somebody with a higher overall uh, star rating for the future so that we could improve them over time. Okay, let's go ahead. Looks like the first two on the list here. Let's go ahead, add them. Very young, and we got one more empty slot over here. So I'm gonna add our final drive. Looks like there's one more down here at the bottom uh, in this particular age bracket. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we've got a few options here for drivers that um, have, you know, up to the three star rating, which isn't bad at all uh, for, is, as far as improvability in the future, but you know we want to see and get uh, the best we possibly can. All right, so with that in mind, we need to come back over and design a new part. Now we're running low on cash, so uh, let's see what do we want to work on. Well, I'm going to hold off on our engine because I'm waiting for our new HQ to be done, our new building in the HQ, uh, so that we can improve that greatly. So really our choice is between gearbox and brakes. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose gearbox to get that one out of the way. Again, we need to get one build out of the way. Let's go ahead and get that. That'll add 20, but it's the only thing I can do. So that'll spend some money and get us a slight improvement. Okay, so that gets that part rolling. It'll be done before our next GP, but of course it won't be usable because of the reliability. All right, so it looks like nothing going on here. Uh, all this time, I look at this as this is reliability work that we're doing here. Okay, so our new gearbox is almost done. You can see there just a few hours remaining. Let's go ahead and forward through that. While we take a quick pause here to let the game simulate the upper tier series. Okay, so car is almost done. We should be able to go one more click and there it is. Here's our email, gearbox is finished. So now we need to fit that new part and we'll go ahead and keep Sergio content for the time being, uh, mostly because there's not that big of a difference here uh, for, for 169 to 197. Uh, but the big difference is Raphael goes from 107 to 169. So that is a big difference. Okay, now we come into our parts, uh, let's see, 72.59, all right, none of these are really, really great. 57 isn't great either. Uh, so we got our new gearbox. I wanna start working on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove that. It's at 72%, which is pretty good. All right, and we'll add this new component in. And at this point, let's take a look and see what we've got. Uh, looks like, yeah, let's go ahead and remove this one and add our new part into the back. Again, not serious improvement regardless, uh, but we want to make sure that we're getting the most out of these parts that we can. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. We've got a few more days left before the race, and I want to kick that reliability up as high as we possibly can. All right, so we've reached... 
race time and let's see okay nothing much to see there let's come under the car and see what we've got for reliability okay so we're up to 60 percent on our newest part 70s across the board here uh going into the race of course you know we've got issues here the reliability isn't as high but i'll just have to watch how much i, I push the drivers on their cornering and uh, try to back off there and try to use the engine more for for those numbers all right so we're above 70 percent on both of our engines of course the spec parts are all at 80 uh, which is wonderful and let's see our gearbox new gearbox is at 60 and the other gearbox we're going to be using is at 76 so we risk having to repair sergio's gearbox uh, but such is the pain he endures for basically forcibly saying that he should get the better parts all right so we'll gain just under four hundred thousand without any bonuses uh let's see so what do we want to get well i think i've really got no choice here we're still very early in the season and as much as i'd like to think we're going to get a podium i can't bank on that so um if we can't get above 10th with at least one driver then we've had a terrible race so we're going to try to go with the safe option here for another race or two if we look at our part fitting i'll go ahead and do auto fill just in case it wants to swap out that gearbox it doesn't look like it does so improving our parts it looks like we are at a point here where i'm going to make some changes but i'll do that after the race we'll do that next video okay now uh the same thing really here uh we're at a point where we've got 500 grand in the bank same thing here i'm going to wait till uh, next video to start on a new part again because i really don't like getting going into the negative on our uh, balance so with that in mind we've got our sponsors selected we've got our parts fitted on the car and it's time to race our practice session just finished up and both drivers were able to get uh, above 90 percent on the setup which is sort of my baseline uh, that i don't want to drop below but uh, unfortunately not quite as high as i would like let's go ahead and start with rafael uh, you can see here both setups that i tried gave me a 91 uh, percent so didn't quite get as high as i wanted there uh, we're going to go ahead and start on the soft tire the weather uh, i see some clouds coming in but as uh, i can't see out very far into the future but it looks like at least our first stint here should be dry uh, by the way it does appear as though if you build the headquarter building the hq building uh, for forecasting you can see out quite a bit into the future so that's something we may want to look forward uh, to doing in the future as well to help us out although i must admit uh, there's a lot of fun value uh, for the tension that builds because I can't see very far into the future uh, on the weather. So admittedly, maybe I'm a little bit of a glutton for punishment in that way uh, for the game. Uh, so very similar setups, not exactly the same on both. At least I don't think they ended up being exactly the same. Uh, you can see here the percentage is a little bit higher for uh, Sergio, but not a lot higher. Uh, seems as though again we're at the beginning of a new season new car and it's going to require a little different setups so i'm finding that my notes from previous years are still very helpful but don't quite get me to uh, where i need from the beginning as closely all right so same thing here soft tires and full of fuel uh, driver strategy uh, there is a small chance that i could make this on one stop but i am not going to attempt it now, I'm also going to start out with neutral driving style because in practice, uh, when I had them push, uh, it really heated up the tires a lot more than I wanted to, and it happened very quickly. So I'm going to try to stick with neutral as much as I can. Um, and the engine mode, I'm going to try to stick with high as opposed to you know, the overtake. And the reason being, I'm still not where I need to be on reliability. Uh, but if we see that things are going well at the end of the race, then we may push that even harder because I don't think fuel is going to be an issue. Uh, basically, we're going to try to do six, six, and five on our stints to get us to the end. So that last stint, or maybe the second stint, or wherever we decide to do that, uh, we have an opportunity there. All right, so here we go. First, the race. Now, we 
generally get terrible starts to the race. So let's see how this one goes. We're in ninth and 14th so far. Let's see how that happens over the first few laps. But remember, the big time for us right now is big thing we want to do is just we want to try to maintain as much as we can. Um, but no wrecks, no anything like that if we can avoid it because the time for us is that fourth and fifth lap. When everybody starts to pit, that's when we can get some clean air and really make up some time. So we'll see how that goes right now. We're falling back. We're at 14th and 15th. Uh, all right, let's see if we're able to stabilize. Again, we're only a couple of laps here away. Let's see, wow. You can see the tires are Okay, so the so the game is throwing me a little bit of a curveball. This is not what happened in practice. So we'll adjust here and see if we can't get a little bit of heat into the tires. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to pit these cars one lap apart. All right, so far so good. Okay, we're getting a little bit more heat in the tires, although uh, not all that much. Okay, let's go ahead and pause here and go ahead and spin this around so I can see pit lane for when the time comes. All right, really no pit stops there. Okay, so they're changing it up a little bit on me. All right, we're up to 13th and 15th. Okay, at this point, uh, let's see. Oh, we just had a crash. I just noticed, let's see if that brings out the safety car. So far, it is not. Looks like pit stops are starting now. Okay, and because of that, I'm going to go ahead and have Sergio push. He's going to be the first car I have to pit, and I'm going to try to make as much as I can here as far as time while he's got some clean track ahead of him. You see, he's in fourth, and he's got plenty of clean track ahead to third so let's go ahead and make up as much time as we can uh, in the meantime rodriguez is only uh, two spots behind him but we're conserving him just a little bit of fuel for him so we can have that extra lap hopefully okay so now we're coming to the final lap let's go ahead and bring down the fuel usage for Rodriguez because hopefully we can get him to run an extra lap. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and queue up our pit stop. All right, we're going to fill up on fuel. And I'm going to take a chance here and not do any repairs uh, for now. I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to need to a little bit later on for our next pit stop, but we'll see. All right, so we're using a lot of fuel here with him the most aggressive that we can be, in fact. All right, so let's see how this works out. I'm a little bit worried here about the fuel usage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really back this down a little bit for him to make an extra lap. All right, so now Sergio is gonna come in to the pits. Rodriguez will make a final lap. Uh, hopefully his fuel will last that long so he finds himself in first with some clean track and let's go ahead and take this opportunity okay so an awesome pit stop over here Sergio comes out in 11th let's go ahead and queue up our pit stop for Rafael and again because we were able to push it a little bit farther here uh, we can look forward to some better things a little further into the future we have a bonus for uh, the fast pit stop. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Hopefully we can gain a little time that way. Okay, here we go. So let's see how things turn out. Uh, we're running very low on fuel. Let's see if we're gonna have enough to make it to pit lane under power. All right, 0 0.14, 0 0.1, 0.06. Okay, we made it. We just did have enough. Okay, let's go ahead and calm Sergio down on the fuel. Uh, tires look pretty good on him. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and go back to our normal strategy here. Okay, we come out very quick pit stop and we come out in 12th. Yes, we come out in. So we're 10th and 12th. 
you can see there we picked up a few spots, two or three spots on the first pit stop, and that is because of the clean air. All right, so we've got both of them pushing a little bit. I see the tire heat starting to creep up a little bit on Sergio. Again, we'll keep tabs on that. All right, so now we've got our fuel difference is definitely an extra lap at this point. All right, so we're at 9th and 10th. Very good to see. Uh, we want to make sure that we make it to uh, a lap 11 at least, and preferably lap 12 on this, because that would enable us to push a lot more in that final time. Okay, so pit stops have begun for the final time. Well, I'm not sure if that's the final time or not, because that's a lot of laps to run on one, so I'm thinking they're going to have to make at least one more stop. Okay, tire temps are getting a little bit high here for Sergio. Let's go ahead and back down. Uh, not quite as high here, but we're going to back down both of them, try to make these tires last a little bit longer and not overheat them. But overall, I would have to say things are looking pretty good here. We're fourth and fifth. Uh, more pit stops happening. That puts us to first and second. Okay, a couple of laps more fuel to go here. So a lap 12, if we pit on lap 12, that gives us five more to the end. Uh, and what I'm trying to decide is how hard I want to push the engine here. Okay, so now he's got gearbox issues creeping up for him. What is, yeah, 23%. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Okay. All right. With that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and we're close to the pit lane. Uh, let's go ahead and have him come in. I'm, that We're almost out of uh, gearbox there, and I want to make sure. Okay, so we're, we're looking good on fuel to continue to push. Park condition, unfortunately, we're going to have to fix that. Uh, and I'm going to try to see. What does this do? 25? Okay, we might as well go ahead and fix that as well because we're very close on both of those. All right, pitch strategy. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we might as well give it a shot and try to push there as well. All right, so he comes in. We'll switch to Rodriguez and keep an eye on the pit stop here. It's going to be a very, very long pit stop. So in the meantime, Rodriguez is doing a great job. Let's see, we should have enough to make a couple more laps here. I'm gonna actually, yeah, let's go ahead and keep that as is. All right, so he comes out, of course, he's back down in 17th now. Uh, let's take a quick look at his condition. Um, everything seems to be okay. The brakes, not so much. Uh, we're getting close there, so I'll need to do that. Now, we're in second, we've got this, uh, We've got a lead here a little bit over that pack that's coming. Let's go ahead and do what I know we're going to need to do. Let's see, what's our park condition? 51, so I feel comfortable continuing to push there. So I'm going to push extremely hard on the engine at the end of the race. And pit strategy there. Park condition, we're going to fix that. So uh, not too bad. An, an additional six seconds that we didn't want to spend, but I think we're going to be okay. And okay, so we'll go ahead and get this taken care of all right things are looking really good um, or again as good as they can look for this time of the season when reliability is very suspect all right here we come in for our pit stop let's see we've got it would help if some other guys would come in for a pit stop as well and some of them do okay that's good so we're going to come out 11th but now it's time to really up the strategy here. And let's see, tire heat looking pretty good on Sergio. I'm gonna keep it as is. I know it shows excess fuel, but uh, that does not take into account the fact that we're pushing. So that may change as time progresses. Um, I think we're fine on fuel, but um, also his the condition of his engine worries me a little. All right, some vibrations from the suspension. Ooh, yeah, the suspension's pretty low. 
And remember, that's one of our spec parts. So hopefully we'll be okay since we're not pushing uh, as far as on the cornering for the tires. We're up to 8th and 10th now. Looking pretty good. Okay, at this point we're going to go for it with Sergio. Uh, let's see, I take that back. I take that back. Let me back that down. I just happened to notice how far behind he is from ninth. So there's really nothing much to gain there. If there's anything to gain, it's going to be from Rodriguez, who has, it looks like, at least three cars directly in front of him uh, with the potential to pass, maybe four. Okay, so we're down to two laps remaining. Let's Now let's go ahead and push with both cars. All right, so we got some troubles there in front of us in seventh. We should be able to get by him, hopefully, before the end of the race. All right, now, final lap. We've got two cars in front of us that I think we can actually get to. Uh, let's go ahead and push. Let's see about Sergio. No, no real reason to push with him. Let's hope the parts hold out. Okay, we pick up one position there, another position here. And, okay, so things... All right, we're up to fifth. Oh, my goodness, come on. we got to get past this slow car. Wow. Okay, I don't like that behavior. I know that's been reported multiple times by people that cars just don't get by the slower cars very well at all. All right, so we're in for fifth and fourth. We move up to fourth. Let's see, Sergio, what well, looks like we'll come home in seventh. A tremendous result for both cars. We pushed the reliability right to its limits and the performance right to its limits, and we come home just outside the podium with a fourth and a seventh. I am extremely pleased. Extremely pleased. It also lets me know that, because if you remember, Sergio, we actually had a rather lengthy pit stop to fix a few things on his car and he still comes home seven that tells me that everybody is struggling with reliability all right let's go ahead and click through here scrutineering will not be a problem for our cars let's see if we pick up any spots that way uh no we stay at fourth and seventh i am very happy about that all right let's move along further so in driver championships now we are in second and eighth so very nice after a couple of rounds let's check on the team standings and wow we jump straight up to first in the team championship that is huge all right let's go ahead and move this forward to our morale screen and then finally we'll end up with the money so let's take a look at our morale. So we're at 100% here with Sergio and 80% with Raphael. Now, if you come over to the chairman happiness, we are at, we were expected to finish second. We came in second here. So we get 11% increase on the happiness, no change to our marketability. So all in all, I think a great result. Let's take a look at our money, 647000 which is a nice chunk of change there. So that will add into our balance. We're now up to 1.2 million. Not as high as we want to be, but again, uh, I think we're going to have a real shot at getting some nice bonuses as the races move forward and we can push the car even more. All right. With that being said, I think we're going to leave it here for this video. Thank you for joining me on the Let's Play series. And stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.